Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome to Tiger Tales. I'm Harrison Craig. And I'm Jocelyn Abney. We are glad to have you with us and we want you to we want to welcome you to the first installment of our school news broadcast. We are going to start off our show today with a message from our principal, Miss Sandy. This is the first week of November. We've got some important things going on this week. Today is Monday, November first, and our quarter starts our new grading period starts today. So the grading period ended on Friday. Today is a fresh new start. I encourage everyone to work hard in your classes. Work on your homework. Complete your assignments. Work hard in class each and every day and be here. That is so important in helping you to be successful. Also on Thursday, November the 4th, we have our fall pictures. So everyone bring a smile. Comb your hair. <laughs> Look good that day. And then on uh, Saturday evening, while you're at home, clocks fall back. So move your clocks back one hour so that you do get an extra hour of sleep this weekend. And then I will see you on the next Monday morning of November the 8th. Thank you and have a great week. Thank you, Miss Sandy. Coming up, James Perkins will tell you about the upcoming weather for the weekend and next weekend. Is there rain in the forecast? James will have more coming up. Jocelyn, unfortunately, there is some rain in the seven-day forecast. For today, there's a 70% chance of rain with a high temperature in the mid-50s and a low in the upper 40s. For tomorrow, Saturday, again, cloudy with a 60% chance of rain with a daytime high around 58 and a nighttime low around 45. Make sure to bundle up when you go trick-or-treating. Looking ahead a few days, there, Sunday should be mostly sunny with a high in the upper 50s and a low around 40. Monday looks to be mostly sunny with a high in the mid to upper 50s and a low in the low 40s. At, so at recess, you might still need your coat. Tuesday, there is a 10% chance of rain. Rain sucks, so woohoo. And But otherwise, partly sunny with a high in the mid-50s and a low around 40. Wednesday, there's a higher chance of rain at 30%. Again, daytime high in the mid-50s and the low around 40. In the, and to round out the seven-day forecast, Thursday looks to be cloudy with a 30% chance of rain and a high in the low 50s and a nighttime low dipping down into the mid 30s. It's that time of year. Don't forget your coats. Back over to you Harrison and Jocelyn. Great job James. Each week on our program we are going to highlight a teacher of the week. Since this is our first newscast there is no better person to be teacher of the week than our leader Miss Sandy McClure. Here's Rennie Owens with our report. Good morning, I'm Renee Owens, and I had the pleasure of interviewing our principal, Miss Sandy McClure. Miss Sandy is a former teacher here at Broadhead, and one thing I asked her is why she became a teacher. Um, one, Rockcastle County home is home to me, and I have a love for children, and a genuine love and interest for the children of my home, which is, again, like I said, Rockcastle County. I was very fortunate to have a family that encouraged me and supported me throughout my public education and into my higher education. So my parents had always expected me to work hard and give my best effort each and every day of school. I learned from an early age that just like my parents, my teachers expected the same. So public educators that I had cared about me when I was growing up and had a love for me and they wanted to see me be successful. So um, this is a reflection of what I like to see in educators and how I discovered that I knew I was also interested in being in education. Miss Sandy was such a good interview. After seeing how much she loved teaching, I asked her if you wasn't teaching, what other job do you think you would be doing? But, um, when I was thinking about careers, I had thought about health or education because I felt like if I worked in healthcare, there's always going to be people sick and that might be a career to go into. Or if I worked in education, there would be um, always children to, to learn. And so um, I guess health, some kind of health field, 
I would have chosen. The health field is something I can definitely see Miss Sandy working in. After some hard questions, I asked Miss Sandy some easy questions. I have four children, and I had shared um, with you maybe another time. I have my oldest is a son, Cody. He's 25, and then um, he is married to my now daughter-in-law, Landria, and she is. Um, she teaches as well. She has the love of working with children as well. And so she teaches at the middle school. And then I have a son, Chase, and he is 23 as well. And he loves uh, coaching and working with kids. And I guess I would say football is probably his favorite sport. And then I have a daughter that is 18, and she is a junior at Rockcastle County High School. My favorite place to shop would be um, either TJ Maxx or a Marshalls or uh, Home Goods. My favorite color is orange. I want to give a special thanks to Miss Annie for allowing us to interview her. Back to Jocelyn and Harrison in the studio. Thank you, Rennie. That was awesome. What is your favorite part of the day at school? If you said lunch, then Jackson Isaacs has some news for you. Hello, I'm Jackson Isaacs in this. Week's lunch is off the charts. Lunch on Monday will be chef salad or soft taco or pizza pack. Lunch on Tuesday will be meat and cheese, stromboni, or ham protein pack. Lunch on Wednesday will be orange chicken or protein snack pack. On lunch on lunch on Thursday will be pizza or Italian variety or ham cheese pizza pack. Lunch on Friday will be chef salad or barbecue groups and rich. That's all for your weekly lunch report back to you in the studio. During our weekly program, we will highlight the upcoming birthdays of both staff members and students. Evie Warwick will highlight who has birthdays this upcoming week. Evie? Hello, my name is Evie Warwick, and as you all know, everyone has their special day, and that is their birthday. So here are some people at BES that have their birthdays within the next week. Today we have Lucas Todd and Frankie Henson. Um, on Saturday, tomorrow, we will have Braylon Loudermilk. On Sunday, we have Adeline Renner. On Monday, we have Michaela Hurley. And on Tuesday, we have a few birthdays. We have Finley Thompson, Haven McCormick, and Finley Childress. On Wednesday, we have a couple fifth grade birthdays. We have Alyssa McKinney and Hunter Schaefer. And um, last but not least, we have James Perkins, who is who has his birthday on Thursday. So happy birthday to him and other people that share their birthdays this coming week. Um, so if you heard your friend's name, um, you can wish them a happy birthday. And um, I hope you have a great day. So back to you guys at the studio. Happy birthday to all indeed. Last Friday, some of our classmates loaded up and headed to some pumpkin patches. Kim Childress got us some inside scoop on where and what went on during those trips. Last Friday, BES second and third graders finally got to go on a field trip for the first time at BES. The second grade got to go to the Christian church camp that includes a makeshift of pumpkin patch, while the third graders went to Divine's pumpkin patch. Pumpkins wasn't the only reason this field trip ended up being fun. Well, we actually did more than just play on the playground that they had. We did some finger painting. Um, we decorated sugar cookies. And we went on a nature hike as well as played on the fantastic playground and go to the pumpkin patch. There to do okay. it. So the first thing we did was we rode the uh, hay ride to go pick our pumpkin to bring back with us to school. And then after that, we played on the playground area. They had a slide, they had a, cor a little corn maze made out of hay, and they had some swings. After that, we went down and jumped on the bouncing pillows and got to see animals. There was a lot of things to do. They had a concession stand, different things like that. After over a year without any field trips, teachers and students say that just felt good to get out of the classroom for a bit. It felt amazing to finally get out and have some fun with the kids and go somewhere besides the school. Well, it was just really awesome to be able to take our kids outside of the school and let them have uh, what seemed like a normal day. 
I even asked Miss Deanna's second grader, Trip, nicely what his favorite part of the field trip was. My favorite thing was to hang out with my friends. That was a look at how BES tackled the pumpkin patch. Back to you, Jocelyn and Harrison. Thank you, Kim. No newscast is complete without having something to do with sports. We will be covering both BES sports as well as Rock Castle sports and even some Kentucky sports. Our very own Rayleigh Hancock will have an action-packed preview of the week ahead. Hello and welcome to our first ever Tigers Den. I'm Rayleigh Hancock and today we will be doing some previewing and reviewing of sports around us. After a heartbreaking 13-14 defeat against Garrett County on Friday night, the RCHS Rockets football team look to bounce back on senior night against rival Lincoln County tonight. The game will be played at the Rock with game time slated for 7.30. The RCMS football team advanced the quarterfinals of the state tournament Saturday with a dominant win over Shelby East 38-0. The Rockets will play Shelby West on Saturday with game time at 2.30. The game will be at East Jessamine High School. Tuesday night, the Lady Rockets volleyball team hosted the Wayne County Lady Cardinals in some region quarterfinal action. Unfortunately, the Lady Rockets got swept three games to zero ending their season. 12th ranked Kentucky football is coming off a bye week and will take on 4-3 and three Mississippi State Bulldogs in Starkville, Mississippi, Saturday at 7 p.m. on the SEC Network. The football cats are looking to improve on their 6-1 and one record. Moving on to some UK basketball news, John Calipari and his 10th ranked Wildcats will have their first exhibition tonight against Kentucky Wesleyan College at 7.30 in Rupp Arena. The game will be on the SEC Network. I'm Rayleigh Hancock. That's all for this week in sports. Have a great day. Thank you, Rayleigh. Well, Harrison, looks like we're coming to an end of our first show. Yes, Jocelyn, and what a show it was. Hopefully you at home liked it and will join us next week on another edition of Tiger Tales. Have a great weekend. Go Tigers! <laughs>